Look what I'm just going to return to the porter's lodge. The spare key. Yes, I did it again. This was yesterday, not today. I'm just returning it to the lodge now. It's actually like such a nice day. I'm not gonna stay out here, I just wanted to show you. Yesterday it was a really nice day as well. And today it's just been like sunny, not very cold. And it just feels like kind of like the start of spring, which is so nice. Spring is like hopping around the corner. How great is that? UK, I'm proud of you. It is Qtas show week this week. So we have the dress rehearsal yesterday and it is opening night tonight. Um, first performance, it's Friday. And then we have another one tomorrow. I want to finish this work that I was doing basically this morning. I want to get that done because it's the afternoon now. I've literally just come back from supervision. And then I'm going to start getting ready because it's currently like 3 p.m. Quarter past three, I want to finish this work by four, let's say. And then I'm gonna get ready, do my hair, my makeup, because we need to put full stage makeup on, and then we're gonna go to rehearsal and hopefully not be as rushed today. So it's like 4.30 now. I kind of finished that work at 4.15, which actually wasn't that bad an estimate of the time that I thought it was gonna take me to finish those notes. So that was pretty good, pretty on it. I'm just, um, don't know what I've done. I faffed for another 15 minutes. Um, but now I'm trying to get my makeup done because um, I need to be at the theatre at 6 p.m. My makeup in this penguin case. <laughs> I love the penguins. I'm not the best at makeup. No way. And I mean, no way by any means am I a beauty vlogger or do I know a lot about makeup because I really don't know a lot about makeup to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean we're gonna start with obviously the basics of foundation. Yesterday's foundation was being so weird and it was squirting everywhere. I feel like we've got quite a beauty like vlogger setup though going on. I just need one of those ring lights to like, you know, light up my face, but you know, hey. So I'm I'm gonna show you like <laughs> This doesn't really mean much to me, but this is a liquid foundation and it's EX1. And I think it's vegan and cruelty free. Oh, I don't like this mirror. It's like super magnified and I'm like, whoa, is that my face? Oh, let's try this out. Oh, so I just like apply a foundation with a beauty blender. I don't know if I apply it right. This foundation is really starting to annoy me because like it's supposed to it's like almost separating so these things have a use by date they probably do don't they i don't know my sister actually bought me this which didn't buy it for me. My sister recommended this EX1 foundation. I obviously got the, what um, shade is this? The palest one, basically. I needed this one and it actually does like match really well. Part of the reason why I didn't want to like fake tan for um the shot was because I wouldn't have a foundation that would match my skin. So I would just have a white face on like a semi bronzed body. What beauty vlogger will you find out that does this? Exactly, I'm not a beauty vlogger. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I just find it really funny. I'm just like dabbing my face and I'm just like, this gets so annoying. Oh, putting on makeup is sometimes such a struggle. And it takes such a long time. Well, actually, if I like do it quickly, it's not that bad. That is why I literally don't put makeup on every day because like it just must take so much time like how do you guys who make up on every day do it i don't know there we go so like this is what i have in my makeup case and stuff and a lot of my makeup because i don't use it very often is not cruelty free. I would definitely not buy any of these products again. I'm gonna curl the lashes. And I'll do a bit of bronze. So yeah, like this I know is it's like city colour bronzer. It's almost kind of running out. We're getting there. We have hit pan. I know that terminology or that phrase. Tonight, 
most of the stuff that I do is learnt from the sister. So I do this like three pattern with the bronze. Are you ready? So you like focus it here and you like bring it down and then you make like a number three shape. So we go three. That is how I do it all the time anyways. Whether that's right or not. Ow, ow, I always like almost get my skin and I don't really like these things. Ow! Ow, <laughs> ow, oh. Ooh, highlight, one of my favorite things. So I think Makeup Revolution is actually vegan and cruelty free and it's like in Superdrug and you can get it quite cheaply. Ideally, I would use all very natural makeup products, but obviously, as I said, I don't get through them very quickly. So when I replace things that run out, which is not very often, I will try and buy like natural um, makeup products. For now, we're using Makeup Revolution and I do know that it is very like affordable and I think it's cruelty free and vegan, so it floats my boat. Oh, I love that noise. So satisfying. Okay, so we're just gonna put on a bit of eyeliner. Ah, oh, it just like poked my eye. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, poked my eye. So one of the things I hate doing, this is like the worst bit about makeup, is eyebrows. So I do have this eyebrow kit. Um, from Makeup Revolution, but I don't tend to use that because if I'm honest with you I never normally fill them in and Whenever I try and do it with this I look at myself when I'm finished and I'm like you look like an idiot So I end up wiping it off. I've been currently using this like brow define mascara thing which like Fills them in makes them look a bit heavier, but it's not as bold as when I do it with this Some people when they draw their eyebrows in they look amazing and I just I just don't understand why I can't do it well, I'm not that good at makeup anyway, so that probably is the reason why. But yeah, eyebrows are the most stressful thing when I do makeup. If I'm feeling adventurous, then I will do a bit more with my eyeshadow. I might try and do a little bit of something today. We'll just start with a nice light pink base. If I'm in a rush, I normally just put like the same colour bronzer on my eyeshadow. Today, I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing with makeup, to be honest. I've just been told that with eyeshadow, it's all about the blending. So we're just gonna like blend for our life. Oh, so dark. And then I have been taught that like if you pull it down below your eye a bit, it like helps to obviously blend it and just make it look complete we're gonna put some eyeliner on i feel like maybe over the top of the eye now um okay mascara makeup revolution again red lipstick and where's my, ah, oh, my red lip liner. Oh, powder, I forgot to do that yesterday. <gasps> powder, that's what I forgot. I love this massive brush. I need to put the powder on to like set it or something, I think. I'm not very good at doing makeup in public situations with other people around me, it gets me really stressed. Like it gets me stressed at the best of times, but when I'm around people, I'm literally like, I really cannot do this. Um, I've also got this clear eyebrow gel, which I sometimes just put over to like, stick my brows in place i often just if i do anything to my brows like on a day-to-day -day basis i will literally just um do this with them like run this through my brows but i only ever do that if i put makeup on i don't do that every day most days i never put any makeup on so okay so we're doing a red lip today we did a dark rouge yesterday because we had headshots done Oh my gosh, red lipstick is so annoying. It's just like so obvious when it's not even. Oh my gosh, this actually like is cherry flavored. Oh, see that? Look at that unevenness. Oh, 
Mm, that's looking better. We've got the peak thing right now. I think that has a name and Emily always tells me what it's called. And these were the wi- no, it's not called the Widow's Peak. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There we go. Successful. So my makeup is now done just as I am losing the light. The sun is like setting now. Um, I always pretty much wear red lipstick when I'm going on stage. I have done since I was a very young little dancer. I have always worn red, bright red lipstick. I don't normally straight in my hair, but I need to have it in a high ponytail, the tap, and I can't really get away with my usual frizzy hair. Yesterday, the dress house was the first time I straightened my hair in a very long time. So I just slicked my hair back like super crazy because tap number is like high ponytails, slick with straight hair. Ooh, water. Um, I need to just like go now basically. And hopefully not be as late as yesterday and hopefully not lock ourselves out. Where are my keys? Where even are my keys? That is a good question. Where are my keys? Oh, this is what happens. It stresses me out. Where are my keys? Oh, oh no. Where are my keys? Where did I put them? Come on, think, Connie, think. I must have had them somewhere with me. In my jacket pocket. Yes. They're in my jacket pocket. Oh, phew. That was a close call. Okay, so I've made it at 6 p.m. Pretty much on the dot, which is good. I'm now trekking down because we're like staging um, one of the numbers just to like space it a bit better. I'm just like trekking down from the fifth floor right at the top. So we're gonna go to the stage. Ooh, where are we? Is everyone here? <gasps> Ooh. Good, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god, really good. Well, let me see it. Um, see the headshot. <laughs> oh my god. Focus on my face. Oh, yeah. The aim was to scare Oxford, right? Yeah. So this is the Lee's theatre. It's like a school and it has like a really good theatre. It's pretty big for a school theatre. This stage is massive as well. It's like huge. So this is what I mean about the five flights of stairs. Just takes quite a while to get from the stage oh my God. to the dressing room. <laughs> Hello, you look very nice. Yeah. Look. Oh. Are you excited? Yeah. Is anyone is anyone watch, is anyone watching? Uh, friend. Friend. Yeah, I haven't got the fan watching because I didn't get tickets in time. Um, but I know some friends who are watching today and maybe tomorrow. Not really sure. Tap is first for me and it's first in the actual show. Fun fact, this is my dad's shirt. It's supposed to be oversized, but mum was like, yeah, I'll give you my dad's shirt. And I think we took oversized to the extreme because it is very massive. Like it goes all the way down like a dress. Where's Joanna? Let's go find Joanna. She's not in the same change room as me. Joanna! <laughs> Yeah, so this outfit is kind of like spy outfit. I haven't done these numbers yet because I was injured last time I didn't do them at competition. So this is like the first time of officially performing all these competition team dances at the show. So this is the full outfit. Tap shoes on. We need a blazer as well. This here is this massive dance studio in the school. Oh, that's a pull. Like, look how big this studio is. This is not a dance school, and this is a huge dance studio in this school. Um, it's the Lee's school, I told you that. It's better than any of the ones we usually use. It's exactly. a bit chilly. And it's in a school, it's like huge. It's, like, it's got like mirrors, and it's got like bars. It's just like so nice. So, so nice, like, it's huge. Bit of limbering.
Can I say hi? Hey, hey. <laughs> and breathe. So, just like a temporary hut interval. And then we did jazz. And jazz is the one that like freaks me out with my hamstring because I know I have to do a ponche and I had to cheat the leg today because my hamstring just, I was gonna whack it. I knew it on stage, something just happened. And I didn't want to injure it. Switch legs. Look how tired everybody is. Woo. Now it's time to get ready for the lovely Billy Elliot's number. Should we do eyebrows? Okay. Should we do yeah, eyebrows? Oh, wait, should I wait, let go. Everybody, eyebrows. Mm. <laughs> Yours are so good, I can't do that one. Oh, I can't do it either. Oh, oh, yeah, do lots it? of training of watching that Cadbury's oh, advert. Wait, like there. Down. Oh no, not. <laughs> Rosie's eyebrows make the best Instagram <laughs> boomerang. Oh, no. I've got them everywhere. They're so good. So guys, you ready to see this beautiful outfit? This number is the Billy Elliot rendition that my friend choreographed because my friend and I were in Billy together, so I um, have to do ballet and poitiers and stuff and tap shoes, which is very, very slippery. But yeah, I love this dance, it literally brings back the memories of doing Billy. It's time for the finale in like a few numbers time, just gonna get changed. And that's me done. First show is down after this finale. And the lipstick is actually still on. I haven't even had to touch it up. I did good with the makeup today. Stage proof. So today it is the second and the last show. I need to put more makeup on. Literally, I am not used to putting on makeup every day and especially not like full face heavy stage makeup every day. I've done it for the past two days. So this is the third time. And then next week we've got varsity. So I'll have to be doing it again not used to this and I mean it's quite intense I don't know how you did it mum when you were younger and I don't know how you guys do it if you're like a professional performer in like a show and you have to put on all this makeup every day crazy and then take it off you know I have foundation like over my lips look ah back again we are people doing the makeup I just wanted to say because yesterday I didn't say about my um, eyeshadow and I also remember that I forgot to put blush on but I don't actually think I have blush but oh well so i just wanted to show you my eyeshadow that i just try and do like an ombre effect thing ombre is that what you say yeah ombre ignore the foundation on my lips please sort of like a light color get progressively darker i didn't do that dark an eyeshadow look i went for like a pinky brownie-ish ombre and i quite like it so yeah i found this little rose tinting thing so I'm just reading this like tips and tricks things on how to use it because I'm used to like a powder blush. This is like a liquid and I'm just like, what do I do with this? Brush three strokes on the apples of your cheeks. Oh my God. Okay, that's all right actually. I think that's actually giving me a bit of color in my cheeks, you know, today. Also, I do have like fake eyelashes in here. So these ones I've used like multiple times, like numerous times. I don't know how many uses I've got out of these, but I also have these like Prima Lash new ones as well. I hate putting on fake lashes and I don't really like wearing them either. It just makes my eyes look like this. Well, I feel as if I'm just like this all the time because they're so heavy. So I'm just not dealing with the eyelashes I can do without that stress my lipstick is just not going well today like it went semi okay yesterday i've been super super fussy my whole life whenever my mom used to do my hair and my makeup i'd be like nope there's a lump or nope the line is not straight and oh i'm putting red lipstick all over my face now <sighs> and breathe look guys this is the video that holly made i've edited this i should know it um where am i that's Eliza. There's my bum. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, and it's like the promo video. See, I've just arrived a bit late today because I was just like faffing, and I don't really know why. I still have two bags. I just I don't know why, but I'm carrying two bags still apparently. The show is over. We did it! We did it! Yeah, I'm so hot in this scarf. This is the double bag look. Woo! And my favourite tutu. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bev! Are you glad it's over? 
Yes. So glad. Bring on Basti. Yes, and see you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow at the party. It's an after party tomorrow. Mm. That's a crowd. That's good. I think it's finished at like half nine, so it's like 20 to 10, which isn't so bad actually. I really do want though my peak and pie little bar thing. It's from Aldi. Shout out. I really want my little peak and pie. I think it went pretty well. Oh, did you see that? I managed to do it one handed. That is skills. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. I do love me some pecans. I need the energy to get me back to college, which is literally like five minutes away, but still. I'm sorry to you too, you can't sit in the basket. I've got another bag to fit in. I'm just standing here, like eating, cash. Um, these are raw as well. Cold pressed from Aldi, like, yes. These cycle back, but the thought of cycling back, I don't know, just isn't really too appealing right now. But anyway, we need to get this makeup off and wash my hair. It's literally like stuck to my head with so much hairspray we're back look at this i basically made the promotion the trailer video for the cute test show and the community got me this present which is so so like nice of them i love the wrapping paper Let's see what it is <gasps> oh my god look at these <gasps> oh my gosh this literally made my weekend <laughs> look what we've got guys they're vegan Rocky Road with Belgium chocolate, Millionaire shortbread, and what's this one? Tiffin. I don't know what Tiffin is, but it's chocolate. That is literally like the nicest thing. Cute as I love you. That is so nice of them to have done that. I did not expect that, but I am very grateful for my vegan goodies. I'm really excited to try these. Like, mm, yes, I know. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Comment down below and I'll speak to you very soon, guys. Goodbye, my friends. Should we kiss the screen now? No. Bye. <laughs>